na kitu nataka tupabade nacho paka tuone tumefauru hii hali na hebu tuoge ukweli hii hali ya kukaa miaka yote na hauelewi wewe ni nani na yani ndani yako haujafika why am i preaching this message kwa maana nimewaombea na nimejiombea and have discovered shetani anatumia binu tofauti na anatumia ujaja wa hali ya juu unapata my brother my sister umeka 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 you have never become haujafanyika kile hakika moyoni mwako ukitamani mwako naisha mwako naisha ah bwana inure sana amen women sometime about tumeoa sometime wao husikia sana mambo haya kuliko sisi kwa maana kwa sababu kama ni dada wako siko na mtoto eh si anakutisha anakutisha nini school fees nini nyingine chakula eh eh and sometime mama wa mama hata kama you are married sometime kuna kitu for instance una watoto watatu nyumba mnao kaa ni dogo ulipoolewa hapo ndio nilikuweka sasa watoto ni wakubwa wageni wakija kuna space mzee utoka asubuhi hudi saa tatu usiku The only thing anahitaji saa tatu usiku ni pahali pa kujiwekelea. Wewe uliyekuweka mchana kama leo ya dada. Amen. Sasa wewe enda ini mzuri. Barikiwa. Uh, let me use this. Bwana ainurue sana. Now you, 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 you see wewe umeshinda kwa nyumba. Haya, ukute your mother in law amekuja or your father in law wanaume unaacha nyumba hata haina mwelekeo lakini bora tu utoke nje. Yaani ni kama unatorokea confusion ya nyumba. Kikobe hapo, sufuria. And you can find a very smart man kwa barabara lakini kwako kienda chaotic. No kujaribu kumwambia twende kwako brother hataki nataka muende pahali mkuche there are people who will never take you to their houses sijui ni kama mke wake hataki watu au ni mzee hataki watu au ni tabia ya kwao lakini ningetaka wanaume wote mlio hapa Mungu akubariki hata kama uko na space kadogo tutebee wazee watatu wane tukule ugali hapo hapo ndio kwako na tuombe wapi para utupeleka kila wakati kwa because i've been worried bana unakuta this man kuna moja aliaga na alikuwa na gari tatu lakini alipokufa we realized anakaru mbili kayole na ako na deni ya land ya mezi tano kumbe ni mwanaume wa public expression aonekane mama alipoenda kuchukua benefits aliambua we have nothing to offer to you and your children kwa maana kile tugepea watoto mzee alichukua loan gari ya kwanza ni ya milioni tatu. gari ya pili si milioni bili. aka na loan ina hii more than 8 million or 10 million wakaba this money ingekuwa yenu lakini tumejilipa nini maroni ya gari mtu aliyekuwa naona mtu tajiri watoto wake even now wengi hawakusoma na wasichana they erupt ndio ku erupt eh eh msichana anasema nikipata tu kimwanaume nitatoroka mtu ambaye alikuwa na gari ya milioni tatu, milioni bili, na alikufa akinyang'anywa gari mpya ambaye pia ni loan it, 
We, habari yenu? Hii maisha inahitaji Bwana aingilie sana. Aingilie sana. Kuna hiyo space inaitwa space inaitwa kutokujulikana. Eh? Sijui tutaita Paulo alipoenda Athen alisema kulikuwa na madhabahu ya Mungu asio onekana. Na siku sasa sio Mungu asio onekana ni space isiyoeleweka. Sio amani, sio kucheka, sio kuketi, sio kusimama. <laughs> sio kuishi vizuri, sio kuvaa vizuri, sio kukura, sio kusoma vizuri, sio ni nini. <laughs> Ukiagalia your dad Abawa ni muzazi na ako hai Bwana suwe sana Na hapi ni wabie na musiogope wapendwa In Jesus name Don't think it is God's plan It is craftiness Ujaja Ujaja wa shetani Ujaja nini? Ujaja wa shetani Eitha akitumia akas Fulani ya mboha tujui And that's when niambia watu ukiokoka Toa the bill ya family Can you repent sins? Unambia buwana Iwapo katika wala waniyo niza Kuna mwanaume alinajisi muke wa mtu Hiyo baba naomba usamehe uko wetu Iwapo katika wala waniyo niza buwana Kuna mtu alitusi jina lako naomba bwana kwa sababu ya uhai wangu wasame wapo katika babu zangu walio lala na makaburi ndio yale walikuwa wachawi na waganga na walipatanisha uzao wetu na uchawi na Mungu kakasirika ukasema we ni Mungu wa wivu na utafikisha hasira yako kwa uzao wa ine baba naomba kwa sababu ya damu ya Yesu Kristo simamisha don't just live in a family. Repent the roots of the family. Otherwise, uta struggle. In Jesus' name. What am I Can you tell something? Umeroa na mwanaume ambao ametoka pali. Na umeroa mwanamuka ametoka wapi? Pali. We need to pray. Ata kama wabimo, Baba, I pray for my husband. I pray for the roots mali alitoka. Umegudua baada ya kuolewa. Watu wa hiyo family ni watu wa kuana. Watu wa hiyo family ukiangalia generation fulani kuna mtu alijinyonga. Ukija ingine wawili. Currently kuna kama wa wachache ambao ambao wame attempt suicide. Don't just wait. Kwa sababu we mama otazaa watoto, au watoto damu ya watoto wako, ni wababa huyu. Na hiyo nyumba, ita wafet. Hallelujah. Unasima wasema baba, kama Yehova ishivyo, nasima misha hii. Na iwapo baba kuna hasira, juu ya ukohu, na wamba tuko damu ya Yesu Christo wondoe. Don't just leave. Because I have come to discover life is becoming mysterious. A mystery. Unaenda kazi. Unarudi. Na ni kama tu unapika raudi hivi. Ha, iweze kani. We ha, tumekata. Sama ni tumekata. Unacheka ni kama ucheki. Ni hile Martin Luther King Jr. Sema kwaba Negros wagecheka bila kuguzwa na mtu yani kucheka kicheko ni kama wazimu mtu acheka kwa sababu they were so much tortured and hawakujielewa akiwa american negro hapigi kura black american hapigi kura miaka hiyo 50 60s akiwa american gudua kwamba huyu mtu meusi the only kazi agepewa ni kufagia choya wasuku Halo bana inuwe sana. Akaagalia kaona alikuwa pasta. Anahubiri Sunday. Anaona magari ya watuwe usi wameingia. Windy screens imevujwa. Some people are bleeding. Amepigwa na police just because they're black. Aka sema nowi. Aka toka inje. Akaenda. Aka paga mkutano even today. 
Watu kama kina Obama they quote that meeting. 1963 alisema I have a dream. Nalipanga akirenga White House. Hallelujah. Akasema hatutosheki. I like the statement. We will never be satisfied as long as the basic social mobility of a negro is from a smaller ghetto to a larger one. We can't. I like men who speak that way. Hallelujah. Ya alikuwa na nenea serikali ya wazungu. I wish you can speak that way to demons. I'll never be satisfied. Now to demons, as far as my family, basic mobility is from, from, gitari marigo, unaenda, korogosho, gomongo. I'll never be satisfied. Hallelujah. Don't worry. Say it to God. God, you make a way. God, you make a way. Na wengi ambao tutakoborewa is hearing the other side. We have heard a lot from this side. Let's hear from the other side. Jesus, we bless you. Nataka tuagalie two of the, we cannot finish this message. But let's have uh, one or three points to tabakia zikine tatu. Ukiagalia how do, mtu ufikaje mpaka Mungu anaachilia your purpose let's read a, a popular chapter kitabu cha first samuel chapter 30 you know this story very well first samuel chapter 30 bible inasema ikawa daudi na watu wake walipokuwa wamefika first samuel chapter 30 david and his 600 strong men Walipokuwa wamefika sklagi siku ya tatu hawa ameleki walikuwa wameshabulia Negep na shiklagi na wameupiga siklag na kuchoma moto now that's how satan uses people like americans now wame wachukua mateka wanawake waliokuemo wakubwa kwa wadogo hawakuwaua wote ila wakawachukua waka end and zao basi now can you please hata kama umechelewa wewe fungua first samuel chapter 30 even if hukupata zingine let's read together verse 4 nataka kila mtu angalie verse 4 we read together sio kusoma na moyo na mudomo the way it is nataka na usidonganye kama na watu wengine wanasema kwa sababu sauti nyingi hata nisipo nisipo ongea sitatasikia za Kina mutu ata waliyo kwa hema. Nastaki kwa screen, kwa screen odoa. Mutu asome hile Bible alikuja nae. Wekera hile kitaba higiri nasama, welcome to the church on Sunday. Hey, welcome. Tome sume ni yo sasa. Sasa kwa Bible yako, fungua first Samuel chapter 30 to some verse 4. Are you there? Are you ready? Mokorino. Uko tayari? Atukosage wakulino ukipiga na kitaba ya white bale. Wakadhani wakikaka watatoa. The only thing mokulino ndio kufanya, unajua hii vitu anayekagwa na kiapo ni kupindua kile kia nimemaliza kiapo nipoapishwa. Eh? You you you, you cancel Kama ni mkulino, yu kitu liwekwa, ukapishwa, you must cancel what you said by the blood of Jesus. Kwa mana ni kiapo ambacho kina wogo usiyo eleweka. Kwa mana wakulino, wameka Old Testament sana, sometime wanachezewa na maroho. <laughs> but uh, they don't differentiate wegine Holy Ghost and Spirit in, in Aetewa Tushida. Sina ubaya mkulino lakini taongea wewe ni wetu. Nafikiri niko na wawili. Na ninaona kama watatu wanaingia. Wanapenda huku. Asante sana na amuita watu wenu. Lakini muambie bye and bye. Tutapambana. Tuta Hallelujah. Are you there friends? Haya 1 2 3 so my over so. I 
like the way dada aoko hebu kuja soma sauti yako siri kama ni ni vile ni mwibaji amesoma chukua bible yako hiyo ni yako au ni ni anaiba yako iko wapi wewe basi kuja amesoma bible ya neighbor kuliko mwenyewe mwenye bible kaya okay ndipo Daudi na watu waliokuwa pamoja naye wakainua sauti zao na kulia hata walipokuwa hawana nguvu za kulia tena aha bwana asifiwe ndipo Daudi na watu waliokuwa pamoja naye wakainua sauti zao na kulia hata walipokuwa hawana nguvu ya kulia tena is a kind of war a kind of war you see satan hutumia mambo fulani na hata kama wewe unasikia kama uko na nguvu you don't know how and which way to fight now daud wamepata nyumba zimechomba zote hema wamama na watoto wamechukua mateka that's all david na masujaa wake 600 they cried mpaka hawakuwa na nguvu ya kulia now let us analyze the cry kwa nini walia mpaka hana nguvu ya kulia kwa sababu kila wameona na kile wamesikia akili zao hazina jibu when your mind is dry when your mind is void you don't know what unajua kuna wakati kuna material 1 plus 1 equals 2 sio hapa uko na material sema 1 plus 1 equals 2 kuna wakati huna material za kazi wewe sema 1 plus 1 you don't know is situation haina hesabu haina bible haisemi ni wanawake walilia ni wanaume how wanaume how, how do you cry mlira gate na wakulia ile kilio wa kunyamaza bible inasema kiangalia wakainua sauti ile kilio mnasikia kwa wanaume ah wanizukubwa yani una imagine baba salome ile sauti yake kubwa sana that level akilia mpaka na nguvu ya kulia akifuata na Saimo ndiye huyu baba Faith na Kenya hizo admin washio ah wu wakainua sauti wakalia mpaka hawakuwa na nguvu ya kulia tena now why because situation ambao wako naye hawajui waanze wapi ukitumia your imagination or what are those men doing with my wife number two. What are they doing with my children? And number three, Amarakais walijulikana kama kabira abao they were so ruthless na walikuwa na roho abao wangekuua tu kwa maana wanasikia kukuua. Amarakais could attack anybody because they felt like just attacking. So wakigundua ni akina nani wamebeba wake na watoto na ni watu wa tabia gani? Hiyo mahesabu inaleta shida. Bwana asiwe sana. Mungu wangu na kusifu because you are glorious. The kind of battle that Satan is using. You know, such a thing utaiona in the book of Job chapter 1. Let me just read it very quickly and then because we don't have time to taomba. Now, ukiangalia chapter 1 ya Job Una, unaona a confusion job alipopata attacks hebu angalia verse 13 it took a job chapter verse 13 it took a siku moja hao wanawe dambinti zake walipokuwa wakira na kunywa divai katika nyumba ya dugu yao mkubwa mjumbe akafikia ayubu na kumwambia hao ngombe walikuwa wakilima na punda walikuwa wakilisha karibu nao mara wasembi wakawashabulia 
wakawachukua wakaenda nao naam wamewaua hawa watumishi wa watumishi kwa makali ya upanga mimi peke yangu nimepona mimi tu nikuletea habari haya ukiangalia verse 16 huyo alipokuwa agali akiongea hata hajamaliza kusema hivi ya kumeharibika akiwa tu anaongea wa pili ndio huyu verse 16 nasema aje verse 16 alipokuwa agali akinena akatokea mwingine na kusema moto wa Mungu umeanguka kutoka mbinguni na kuwateketesa kodoo na wale watumishi na kuagamiza wote mimi peke yangu nimepona mimi tu kukuletea habari verse 17 na huyu alipokuwa agari akiogea viki viki matikitanio <laughs> huyu akiwa tu anaongea akatokea mwingine kusema wakalidayo walifanya vikosi vitatu wakaangukia ngamia wakaenda nao na wameua wale watumishi kwa makali ya upanga mimi peke yangu nimepona mimi tu nikotea habari verse 18 na huyo alipokuwa angalia na nena gai 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 akatokea mwingine kusema wanao na binti zako walikuwa wakira na kunywa divai katika nyumba ya ndugu yao mkubwa mara tazama upepo wenye nguvu ukatoka pande za jagwani ukaipika hiyo nyumba pepe zote ine nayo na ikawangukia hao vijana nao wamekufa mimi peke yangu nimepona nikuletea habari look at the sequence kitu ambao chaweza fanya ulie paka ukose nguvu ya kulia let me tell you god has sent me kuambia kwamba hiyo vacuum ambao ibilisi anataka kuunda around our life leo leo atajua bwana ametumana devil we know unatumia ujaja fulani ndio watu wafikirie paka wakose nguvu ya kufikiria watu watakanyikiwe paka wakose uwezo wa kusema haleluya devil you will not win we cast your works are you ready for battle amen Tujua shetani sasa atumii magonjwa sasa atumii anatumia an experience ambao angetaka ukose uwezo I give God praise because ukiangalia okay, verse 20 nasema dipo ayubu akainuka akalidarua joho lake kisha akanyoa kichwa chake na kuaguka chini na kusujudia I tell you friends when uta geukia upande wa Bwana hata kama utakosa maneno ya kusema usujudie that is the starting point of winning this battle hallelujah hallelujah oh wakati ambapo instead of confusion au kulia mpaka na kosa nguvu ya kulia nitavua yote and i fall before god that the starting point ya kumaliza the plan of the evil one may the lord be blessed na ayubu akasemaje verse 21 mimi nalitoka tuboni mwa mama yangu nikiwa uchi na mimi nitarudi tena huko nikiwa uchi bwana ndiye alitoa ni mungu amechukua jina la bwana libarikiwe at that point ayubu agene na kwa ruga bwana agesimama and worship at that point ayubu agapokea revelation beyond mateso haya I now see the might of God. May the Lord bless you. Hallelujah. And verse 22 says, Katika mambo haya ayote, Ayubu hakufanya dhambi wala hakumwazia Mungu kwa upubavu. Hallelujah. 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 Asta hili ewe bwana Asta Jesus I worship you Asta 
Na wakati sasa mabori zidikana ayubu akawa mejaa majibu. Boyos. Zilikuwa maelfu. Wacha ile moja ulipata. Eh? Jivu. Iho ha. Ye yeah, alipata almost thousand. Zilijaa kwa mwili mpaka chini ya migu. Baibu inashema ukiangalia Job 19 verse 25. Ayubu akasema lakini mimi na jua ya kuwa. Mutete anji wangu yuhai Please don't allow the devil To remove the redeemer from your mind Devil you cannot remove the anointing from my heart Satan you will not remove the truth of Jehovah From my mouth Akashema I know my redeemer lives Nayakua hati my atasimama juu ya inchi sitamalizia na ijangwa sitamalizia na experience nitamalizia na kumuona ye yeah, ye yeah. hatimaye atasimama juu ya inchi na baada ya gozi yangu kuharibiwa kama na gozi yake ilikuwa imejaa majivu lakini pasipo kuwa na mwili wangu mimi nitamuona Mungu nami nitamuona mimi nafsi yangu na macho yangu Ya tamtazama wala siya mwingine My eyes personally will see him Na siyo macho ya mwingine Can you tell the devil Devil you will not remove God from my heart I know after all the issues God you start and God you prove my righteousness Pigia Yesu makofi Now friends Tukirudi mali tulianzia. Pass how much after that? Tulianzia na kuona nini? Daudi na masuja wake wakalia mpaka wakakosa guvu ya kulia. Are you there friends? Bwana ainuliwe. Bwana ainuliwe. Now. Nataka upokee nguvu na nikutume kwako kazini. Na kwa nyumba yako na kwa watu wenu. Listen. Iyo, we, iyo nyumba meka kama jangwa. Wewe, uko hapa. Unaeda kurejesha sauti ya buwana in that place. Receive the anointing of prophecy. Go, wiki hitu kwa maombi buwana. Go and pray. Ita your sisters and brothers. Na wambie, thus says the Lord. Endo wambie, one by one, this is what God says about you. God says about you. God says about you. God says about you. Endo nene wote, ata wale mungu wa mepaga wataka ngambo, endo wambie. Ata wale mungu wa meamua watakuwa mamilionea, wambie. Wambie beyond what you see. There's God and by haombi bali aombwa. Haji kuonyeshwa jia. Yeye die jia kweli na uzima in Jesus name. Now look at the issue now. I want to finish by saying this. Ukiangalia okay, Bible nasema kwamba just check. Aha, na Daudi, hebu sikiza. Si wameria mpaka wakakosa nguvu ya kulia. Ukiangalia okay, verse 6 yasema Na Daudi akavadhaika sana kwa sababu watu walikuwa wakisema kwamba apigwa na mawe. Kwa maana nafsi za hawa watu wote walio sononeka kila mtu kwa ajili ya wanao ya wanawe na binti zake. Now, I want to say something. Si mnaona nyumba ambazo zimejaa watu kufurutana? Yeah? Listen carefully. I know Mahali kwetu kuna families family walikuwa na marafiki zetu Mahali walikuwa wamejenga ni mahali pa kupewa ileta kwa wako ni mzee alihurumia baba yao akawaambia jegeni hapa kitabomwe na akili na mjue jia wakaka hata ile nyumba walijenga ikaanza kuseka but brother moja one brother akaamua kuchomoka 
akajipa moyo atakama kwa kuna njia si wizi no njia za haki bwana kambariki bwana kamtia moyo jambo la kwanza akanunua shaba ikatatu kaambia wazazi amen na hiyo shaba ikaadikwa baba yake akaambia baba ni mimi nimenunua lakini baba nataka uishi ukijua kwamba before you die utaambia watu somewhere somehow along the life you owned land in the world iadikwe baba na kabedu zake hameni ah i wish you receive that anointing friend god you use you powerfully alipofanya hivyo yeye mwenyewe akaamini Mungu akanunua yake pahali na akanunua ingine with a very short time wako na mashaba mane amen do you know what is happening kila mmoja wao every brother akona shaba yake and they are all blessed somebody decided to destroy darkness and i believe with all my heart we usipochanganya mungu na maoni kwa maana watu wengine wakobolewi kwa bana umeshika negative mind umeshika mawazo yani we uko na reality ya dunia sana kwamba mungu akitaka kuintroduce a new chapter we ni mungu sana uko na reality ya uchumi reality ya soko ya kwako reality ya wewe you are so much conscious about yourself kwamba you can never be conscious about the voice of the holy ghost unajihisi sana kwamba kuhisi roho wa bwana is a problem change from yourself kwa maana hata gideon mungu alipomtokea mungu alikanso all the experiences akasema gideon you shall be mighty man kwa sababu i will be with you not your background not the tribe not the foundation of the family is god's presence friends naweza kuwa sina anything lakini uwepo wa bwana guarantees favor may the lord bless you amen ni mungu aliye sababisha israeli wakitoka misri wakati ambapo utumwa uliisha wa misri wote wachukue dhahabu yote iliyokuwa kwa jumba zao wawape wawape you can imagine mungu aliweka egypt yes kitu ambacho kijizuilia is saying kai unaelewa mumisri ageda kwa nyumba yake anauliza mke wake where is all our gold is as if mungu aliwampia All the God we have belongs to Israel. Sama wa Misri walikuwa mtu anachukua all the God akawaambia dhahabu ni yenu chukua. Tawa mama kuna dhahabu ingine imebaki hakuna sawa sasa tuna amani kwa sababu tumesikia tu ni hawa watu. You know why? When God delivers you he also has means of raising your status <laughs> Hallelujah Hebu niwaambie kama tukeruhusiwa na Musa sijui kama alikuwa na minister wa planning and economics Apeane GBT apeane level ya uchumi wa Israel agasema these people although hawana jeshi Although hawana nafasi ya kuda mambo ukiingia mifuko yao they are very rich In other words May God bless you May God bless you And that's why even now is there wanaogopwa walikuwa wanadea wanasema wapewe jango ya Kenya Tukeda isa Israel is desert wale mnajua total desert lakini right now dio wana supply dunia na chakula na machupo na nini na ngombe wamegeuza jangwa jambo lingine israel wanazaa sana haraka wakienda pahali they increase 
nafikiri baraka zingine kiondolewa ya kuongezeka wako naye America dio wa the other day Netanyahu ameenda America ametisha ametisha President Trump amabia Trump you might hear this America is rich because of Israel we are the owner of iPhone we are the owner of Amazon we are the owner of New York we own this every company ambao imefanya America iwe tajiri ni ya Israel siku hiyo dio Trump alinama pia naonga alinama hivi ni kama kusujudia Mungu Israel May the Lord bless you friends you can be Israel of this nation friends you can you can you can you can Jesus loves you hallelujah Now now I'm finishing by saying this Bible inasema na Daudi akaji ha 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 akajitia nguvu katika Bwana Mungu wake Let me introduce this to you there's an initiative initiative unajua lazima kitu kianza pahali si ni kweli si ni kweli ukiona mahali kuna ma... we umai kuona ijia ya kwenda meru kwenda um, nakuru kuna soko zimefunguliwa around the way eh yeah. ene town ni kenya ukiangalia history yake ilikuwa na mtu aliazisha ukiona machakos utaona sanamu ya mashako alikuwa Moshe Ukiona soko iko rali soko mjiga uliza tabu iko mama moja alikuja hapa zamani akaanza nini kuuza carrot Nataka kwenu kubadrike na uwe wedi initiator <laughs> Zamani hatukuwa hivi but there was a man who was saved Na tulizikia ni kama alikotoka bahati ya Apostolic Faith Church who came and and sisi wenyewe we are outcome ya kitu kilianzishwa please everything has a starting point kama kuna nguvu na utukufu unaonekana you have to start somewhere do you know hata kama we hata kama daudi wamelia mpaka hawana nguvu ya kulia na hata kama watu wanaanza kumwambia ompiga na mawe kwa maana ukiruhusu family Zilia mpaka wana guvu ya kulia The second thing they would do Kama machozi meisha ni kuraumiana That's why some families here Ukiingia hakuna amani Wanaraumiana Ni wewe, ni wewe, ni wewe Kwa maana watu razima watafute Ni nani watamuagia Ubaya In this context Walisema tupige daudi na mawe Na baba sema na Daudi akajitia guvu katika Bwana Mungu wake. Koho kuna kitu kinaitwa kujitia nguvu katika Bwana. I say even if you have nothing start that one. Start that one. Even if hujiski start that one. Najitia nguvu katika Bwana Mungu wako because I know he lives. Amen. Number 2 what did he do? Kisha Daudi akamwambia Abiathari kuhani mwana wa Ahimeleki Tafadhali nilete hapa hiyo naiveri naye Abiathari akamletea Daudi na Abiathari ni, ni nguo ambayo ilikuwa inavaliwa na makuhani wakati wataka kuomba the will of God Abiathari alikuwa avae lakini bana haobi ndio anasema hii nguo hautumii nipe hmm. That's why kwambia we weza kuwa hata kwenu uonekani kama una akili. Ah chukua ukuhani. Amen. Abiathari dia alikuwa priest. Dia gavaa hiyo nguo anenewe. Lakini Abiathari wakati David anasema hivi, it means Abiathar was there watching people cry paka machozi naisha. Usipeane mwito kwa mtu mwingine it's you God you use. Ni wewe umepata nuru. Haleluya. Usiseme kwetu kamau atiendo dia unenewa. Let me tell you what wa kanisa la apostolic faith bahati pokeeni upako wa kukuhani. Receive priesthood anointing. Hata kama kwenu haune kama kwenu wewe utumiwi na mwenye ketumiwa melala 
Mwambie kama Daudi. Haleluya. Enda wambie abiadheri wa kwenu. Even if it is your dad. Mwambie baba sasa nyamaza. Nimevaa nguo sura ya kunenewa. Sitagojea nyumba yisha kwa sababu katika orodha ya ukoo si hesabiwe ni haya I'm taking over si kwa kuchagulua na mtu ni kwa kujitia nguvu katika Bwana mguu wangu ninachukua ushukani wa kuondoa aibu in my family si kwa sababu somebody has appointed me it's because nimejitia nguvu katika Bwana mungu wangu piga huyu mungu makofi jipe moyo haleluya Sio vile ninaitwa. Sio vile kuna kaa. Hata sijulikani na anybody. Lakini kile ninaenda kufanya hakitabulikani katika orodha hata ya majirani. Lakini kuna kitu nitaanza. Au initiate something. Haleluya. Hata mimi naambiwa kama wengine tapigwa na mawe. Kajitia nguvu katika bwana mungu wake. Na akaambia mwenye alikuwa aombe akamwambia wewe sasa uombi lete nguo ya maombi. Daudi mwenyewe Bible inasema Haleluya. Na Daudi alipovaa hiyo nguo akamuliza akauliza kwa Bwana akasema Nikiwafuata this time see the mouth where sio tunaomba mingi eh baba 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 ehe hii ni maombi ya kunenewa kuna wakati ambapo hata huna uwezo wa kuogea unaweza ogea ujiga ni wakati sasa wa kutiwa guvu kutoka juu Daudi akauliza kwa Bwana akisema nikiwafuata jezi hili nitawapata naye akamjibu fuata kwa kuwa hakika utawapata nawe hukosi utawapokonya wote nataka When David adinenawa hivyo Bible inashema basi Daudi akaenda yeye na wale watu 600 walio pamoja naye wakafika kijito cha Besoli ambapo wale wa, wale waliachwa nyuma walikaa you know why mwenye ako na original voice huenda bali mwenye wakuletewa haezi enda bali Wengine ni kuambiwa wali hapo na David inukeni twende. David si kuambiwa ni yeye alisikia Bwana akisema you will get back all your children and all your wives. To David is original. To others it's a report. Don't mix original and the reported. Kuna watu walisikia kukisemwa na kuna wale wanajua we know when God speaks spoke. We know what he said and we are clear who spoke. Hallelujah. Musifanane na wengine mukiona wanachoka wanachoka kwa maana hawakuweko Bwana akiongea. Wewe uko na original voice. Ni wewe ulijitia moyo. Ni wewe ulinenewa. Bible says walipopika besoli kuna kikundi cha watu 600 kilichoka. David Never give up. Alijua mimi miguu yangu imejaa upako wa sauti original. I say in Jesus name, receive the original. Usijidharau tena. You are the man God you use. Bora mama shakaraba. And Bible inaongea vizuri kwamba alienda and David brought back all the wives and the children. Sasa breach the gap. Break that vacuum that exists around you hiyo we hiyo kavu umewekwa mpaka unalia unakosa kuvya kulia break it from today god is raising you kile kitatendeka hakizaliwi na kile kilikuweko god will not use mambo mengine dia aunde mambo mugu huunda out of nothing god hatumi sodium na chlorine kuuda sodium chloride wewe ndio tatumia sodium na chlorine kuuda sodium chloride mungu hata zitumia mungu ni kunena aseme na kuwe na sodium chloride mungu hata hitaji hydrogen and oxygen kuumba maji 
ni kusema atasema na kuwe na maji let me tell you friends please ondoa mawazo kwa uchungu kwa ukavu na madhi hako uliyopitia kwa maana Mungu hatatumia hayo hata yatumia hata yatumia hata tumia hayo Mungu atatoka juu kwelas wengine kutoka chini god bless me use me for your glory ah there's deliverance in this house hallelujah hallelujah zimebaki point zingine kama 5 tutaendelea another day let's start for prayer